Hi, I'm Jim Solos, a film photographer and film photography educator located in Fort Langley, British Columbia, Canada. I want to take a few moments to take a look at this new developer from Flick Film called Black, White and Green. It has a couple interesting aspects to it. It's a black and white developer. It's easy to use. It has a very long shelf life. And very importantly, it's also green, hence the name black, white, and green. Meaning you can dispose of it safely down the sink or into a septic system because its main ingredient is vitamin C. So let's take a look at how we use it. Let's use it to develop a roll of Ilford film so we can do a comparison. Let's start by loading our film onto the developing spool. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. This is not how to develop film. So I'll just show you how I do it. So first of all, I've clipped the leader. You notice I leave the film in the canister. I slide it into the reel just until it grabs. And then I'm going to process, put it into the tank. So uh, we open the tank. And the rest of this has to be done in the dark. So I got my film ready. It's ready to go. I got the film canister ready to go. Reels ready to go. Lights in the dark room go out. Now at this point, I'm uh, reeling the film out of the canister onto the spool. And once on the spool, I'll clip off the canister and then I'll load the reel into the tank, close the tank, and on come the room lights. Okay, so at this point, my film is uh, out of the canister and into the tank. So it's all safely inside so the rest can be done in daylight. Now let's turn our attention to the developer. Let's mix it. Okay, so I open up the black, white, and green. And one of the things you'll notice is it has a thick, almost syrup consistency. And we use very little. So in this case, with a single roll of film, I'm using six mils. So I'll fill the graduate up to six milliliters. Now comes the interesting part. I've got the six milliliters of developer in the graduate, and I've got to get this thick, syrupy developer out of the, out of the graduate and into the beaker. And that proved to be a bit more of a challenge. As you can see, it's just stuck inside, and it kind of drips out, much like honey or syrup. So the only way I could resolve that was I had to pour some of the working strength back into the graduate to dilute it a little bit and then back into the beaker and I repeated this rocking procedure from one to the other until eventually I got all of the concentrate out of the graduate. This is the only real negative I could see with Flick Film Developer. Now the developer is heavier than water so it tends to sit on the bottom as you can see here and I had to mix that up. My magnetic stirrer in the dark room quickly mixed that up nicely. And that could easily be done by hand as well. And as you can see, it dissolved beautifully. No traces of concentrate, as is common with a lot of powdered developers. Now with my other chemicals mixed, it's time to start developing. So I open the tank and I pour the developer, which is at 20 degrees centigrade and pour that into the tank. And Flick Film says this should develop for 15 minutes, 25 seconds for HP5. And I continue agitating, watching the clock, and for the entire 15 minutes, 25 seconds, as we get close to the end, I begin pouring off the developer until the clock runs out. And I continue one minute for stop bath, followed by, then followed by five minutes in fixer, and ending with a 10 minute rinse. Now let's take a look what we've got. We'll open the tank, my favorite part. Let's take a look at our film. And the negatives look beautiful, beautiful contrast. I'm happy with that. So let's talk a little bit about the results. Well, the image quality, the negatives are excellent, beautiful contrast, and uh, the grain, I'm very pleased.
pleased. It's very similar to Ilfosol 3, which was my normal uh, developer. So results, very successful. Shelf life of the developer, it's supposed to be similar to Rodinol. And while FlickFilm didn't give a, very, a specific, they said the developer in concentrate form will last a very long time without special care. So it sounds a lot like Rodinol. You put it on a shelf and forget about it. And then next time you need it, it's ready to go. Cost, the developer is a little bit cheaper than uh, Ilfosol. So cost-wise, it's excellent. If you want to look at some specifics, look at the blog article that I associated with this video, and you'll see that down in the description. Ease of use. Mm, this is one area where I had a little bit of an issue. You saw in the video how trying to get the concentrate out of the graduate was a bit of a challenge. And that seems to be the only issue that I ran into. I also love the fact that this developer is green. We can safely dispose of it down the sink, even into a septic system. And according to FlickFilm, we can even throw it into our garden. It's an environmentally friendly product, and that's awesome. And lastly, FlickFilm is a new company providing products and services for film photographers. And I love supporting new initiatives in this area. So let me conclude this by answering the question, is this a product I would use myself or recommend to my students? And the answer is absolutely yes. It's a, a wonderful product. And like I say, the only issue is the syrupy consistency. And that's going to take a little bit of working myself to figure out the best ways to deal with that. But aside from that, it's a first class product. So I hope this video has been useful to you. And I'd love to hear your feedback, your comments. And this is Jim Solos encouraging you to keep shooting film.